Regenerative medicine has come a long way. We're capable of replacing entire vital organs, well, maybe not the brain, with increasing success. However, what if the surgery for your condition is too risky or even impossible? Worse yet, what if you go through with the surgery, but the problem doesn't cease to exist? So maybe you had that successful transplant and feel as great as a post-transplantee can, but soon after, you see the same problem reoccurring. Your problem might be of genetic origin. For example, this can be the case in patients with pulmonary arterial hypertension, a disease with a narrowing of the arteries that can lead to near fatal levels of high blood pressure. And in the most severe cases of the inherited form, complex surgery might be required, and this can carry with it extreme side effects. This is where stem cell therapy comes in. So the idea behind this is that you harvest your own stem cells. These are cells that are still capable of differentiating into any other cell type, transfect or modify them, and then just reinsert them into the affected area. Have them fix your problem. If that sounds a bit too simple to be true, it's because it kind of still is. For one, stem cells are one of the most difficult to transfect cell types, and we might want to insert some really complicated molecules. However, the potential of stem cell therapy, stem cell transfection, is so great, both in research and in medicine, that many researchers are searching for that ideal method that would allow a minimal compromise between the cell viability or survival rate and the transfection efficiency. And our group <coughs> uses a relatively novel approach of running cells through really narrow constrictions. So uh, this, is, this uses shear stress in microfluidic devices. And this would allow tiny pores to appear in the cell membrane so just enough damage for the new molecules to pass through, and then the cell would heal itself within a few seconds, new function included. So kind of like with surgery, where you want to cause just enough damage to fix whatever needs fixing, certainly not anymore. Except in this case, it wouldn't be you that's undergoing this temporary damage, temporary split open and being modified, only your cells. And all that's left then is the injection which is pretty simple if you're not afraid of shots. Thank you.